guys, it's Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make cracked chicken, so stay tuned. The first thing you need is a crock pot, and I have my crock pot right here. So, and then I'm gonna add some chicken breast. I have some from Walmart. So, open the package. So I'm gonna add, yes, you put them in frozen. So. Just like that. And I'm gonna add four pieces. Okay. Four pieces, because that really wasn't that much. So that is very simple. You put the chicken in the crock pot. Can't peep that. The next thing you do is gonna grab some ranch. Right here, and another Walmart brand. Cheap, cheap, cheap. So just a packet of ranch. And then just sprinkle it on like this. Simple, simple. And the next thing is you're gonna grab a packet of cream cheese and just place that on the top so that's it to start it out with there will be more ingredients um, as we get going in the recipe but this is the first step so you want to cook this on high to start out with four hours and then check on it and then drop it down to low two hours later so I am going to put my lid on and turn it on high for four hours and just leave it alone. And we'll come back to it in four hours. Okay, now it has cooked for, let's say, five hours, I think, pretty much um, on high. So now it's time to break up the chicken and mix it all together. So I'm just going to use two forks just like this. The chicken is so tender. So I've almost got all the big chunks smaller. I love crock pot meals. They're so easy. It makes my life so much better. I have been so busy today. Okay, there's that. And then I want to take a little taste test. Mmm, that's good. And next, to give it a little bit more ranch flavor, I'm just gonna put this in. I get this at Aldi's. It honestly is my favorite ranch dressing. So, as you can see, I just put some there. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab some bacon. I cook some bacon right here on a cookie sheet at 350 for like 15 minutes. And the easiest way to cook bacon, I mean, the easiest way to cut bacon, honestly, with a pair of scissors. So I'm gonna put that all over it. Oh, looks so good. Definitely not a healthy meal for you, I can say that. So I cooked about one, two, three, four, six pieces, and I cut them in half. So you can add as much bacon or as little bacon as you want. The next thing is some um, mild cheddar. And what I'm gonna do with this is just put it on the top. Just like that, cover it up. And then I'm gonna put the cover back on it. And then I'm gonna cook it on low for one hour. Cause I want that cheese to melt and then I'll show you guys what you do at the end. Okay, the cheese is all melted. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So, so good, look at that. Mm. <laughs> that really does look good. So next what you gotta do, is you wanna grab 
some green onions, put that on top, just like that. Oh, that looks so good. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of potatoes. So I just wanna try it, cause this is what we're having for dinner tonight. But I just wanna show you guys what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna break into this thing. Oh, look at that cheese, oh my gosh. The dog's sniffing it too. That is so cheesy. Yum, yum, yum. And then grab a little bit of tomatoes. And there you go. So let's give this a try because I am very excited to try this. Mm. That is really good. I just put some mashed potatoes on the bottom of it. And it is very good. It really, you can really, really, really taste the ranch and the bacon and the cheese and so good. So I hope you guys like this video. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.